There is a theory in history that if you experienced a, a time period, you may be too close to it to understand it. So this is a joke about Cold War reenactors, people hiding under their desks. And I would wager that many of you here today may have had an experience like this or something similar. This is the uh, highly memorable fear. It's a civil defense exercise. I'll just mention that my first book was about the atomic bomb survivors and these civil defense exercises much ridiculed were in fact based on data taken from the experiences of atomic bomb survivors at Hiroshima and Nagasaki as they learned that people who were shielded even a slight amount who were behind a tree under a desk, um, behind a, a low wall, had a much better chance of surviving because of the massive pulse of radiation that the bomb um, produced. So this wasn't such a silly thing to teach young people or to teach children, um, but it suggests if the, if the premise is true that no one who uh, lived through a time period can possibly see it very clearly, then at this point we can't expect to see the Cold War very clearly because we're still living so deeply inside the debris, the consequences, um, the global consequences, the environmental consequences. They're so present in our lives. They're all around us. They're in our cell phones. They're in um, our health systems. Uh, they're even in enduring tensions between um, the residues of the Cold War between Russia and the United States, which are still in some important ways enemies. Mm -hmm.